everybody, it's your boy Zani the Greatest, and welcome back to another YouTube video. We gotta talk, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm a little, little, little disappointed in the news that we're getting. But hey, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We smashed that last video, guys. That new update video was crazy. Thank you guys for hitting over 150 views in under 20 hours. And we, we hit that 15 like marker. So we're going to go ahead and aim for 20 likes on this video. Can we get this video to 20 likes, guys? 20 likes. Let's go. Like and subscribe. Let's get it. The first. Okay. Okay. So look at this roadmap. The first thing we have here is season one. So we already got Cell, Frieza, Majin Buu. We got Oolong, Boma, and the Farmer. And three maps. The 18 transfers are coming along. They're rolling out. Uh, they had eight at launch and they're launching more tomorrow, which is going to be Friday. So what I really wanted to talk about here is season two. Um, Breakers, what is this? Why emphasis on why are you making us pay for new Raiders? Answer the question. Why? What? I don't, I am not, I'm honestly confused on this marketing or move right here. Okay, so in my in my defense, when you do get these TP tokens, um, I hope that the link between Xenoverse 2 and Breakers are a thing with these TP tokens. Because how are you going to expect us to have to spend most of our TP tokens to get a Raider, which I'm sure is going to be expensive, and then you have other customizable and op other options in the stores and stuff that people are probably going to wipe through. What are you doing? Why are you making us... Why? Is it an in-game transaction? And then three new Survivor skins, which I, you know, I guess you can pay for those as well. I, I don't know. But the Raider is kind of sending me into a, a, a black hole right now. I don't... I don't... I'm blank on that. Why? Why? I don't get it. One Raider? And then we get one Raider. And then I'm sure it's going to be a lot of TP tokens. And Season 3 is the same thing. And Season 3 looks like the, the exact same copy and paste of Season 2 with additional transfers and customizations. Dragon Ball The Breakers. If this is our future for the next six seasons, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. Do not hinder yourselves by trying to be picky with the transactions. Raiders should be free. So Raiders should be free. Survivor skins, fine. We could pay for those. Um, I'd rather us pay for maps, even though that would be just as not smart in my opinion, but Raiders should be free, right? Now, if you're gonna make Raiders unlockable, I suggest that you make it a tier option where you can put certain Raiders in the same bracket. A uh, level three Raider would probably be Majin Buu. A level one Raider would probably be, I don't know if you took it back to Cell, uh, not Cell, uh, Vegeta or somebody like that. If you see where I'm going with this, make them in tiers so that, okay, if you do this amount with Majin Buu, if you get to a certain level in level three, you get this Raider or you, you know what I'm saying? Like I make us unlock them. We already paid for the game. Don't make us have to use the stuff we're winning in game that we want to use for clothing and other options and siphons and other stuff that we could be using it on we don't have to use it half of it on a raider because i know it's gonna be i know it's gonna be at least 500 or 500 and up to buy a raider you're gonna make it expensive so i don't i just honestly i just really wanted to talk about that here's the entire roadmap guys here's the future content edition of course there's gonna be more stuff i hope that the uh, transfers or fears i don't know how you say that word whatever Transfers are are good in this coming season. I hope the additional outfits are a lot. I hope they implement more stuff because I'm not liking that tactic so far. We'll see how it works. I could be completely wrong. I may have this whole marketing thing wrong. But from my standpoint, the way I'm looking at it, having us pay for with TP tokens to get a raider just isn't the move. Survivor skins, fine. Raiders, no. Raiders and survivors, you keep that keep that unlockable make us work for it don't make us have to buy it don't make this game pay to win please do not make this game pay to win all right you guys that's, that's all i have to cover for today leave a like on the video subscribe if you are new when you get into some more dragon ball breakers content i'll catch you guys next time peace